Well, we are, of course, living in some stressful times right now. A Portland-based company is trying to help people find stillness and peace. Liz Fitzgerald co-founded Ma Wovens, and she joins us this morning via Skype with some advice for anyone looking to de-stress right now. Liz, good morning. Good morning. I'm actually business partners with the founder, and we I'm really excited to be here and share a few tips to try to calm the nervous system and release some tension at this time. Yeah, I'm sure there are a lot of people who are feeling pretty stressed out, I know myself included, who think, uh, gosh, I'm, I'm not a big meditation person, so you've got some kind of easy exercises that don't really feel like having to sit down and, and meditate for hours and hours. Exactly. I find it really intimidating um, to think of, oh, if, if I'm going to meditate, I have to take this huge chunk of time off and I have to do everything just right in order to um, to meditate correctly. And really, at the end of the day, meditation and yoga, the foundation of the two practices is just breathing with intention and focus. And you can do that anywhere. And even literally taking one breath uh, with focus can calm your whole nervous system down. So some pretty easy steps I want to go over. Okay, so I'm going to follow along with you here. Uh, you can walk me through this, how we go about just kind of breathing. I know we don't normally just sit quietly on television, but if you're watching at home too, feel free. You can try this with us. Exactly. Thank you so much for being game. Um, ultimately, you can do this sitting, lying down, standing at the sink. Really, th uh, this breath is accessible to you at any point. So. We're going to start by simply placing our hands on our body. So take your right hand and place it on your chest and your left hand on your belly. Okay. And this action alone can be very comforting and sends signals to your nervous system that you're safe, that you're in good hands, and that you can calm down. So this is something you can do either with your eyes open or closed. And we'll just take a moment to connect with this feeling and f notice the sensation of, that's happening underneath your hands. For me, my heart is beating really fast underneath my hand. You might notice something different, but just observe without any judgment, just kind of notice with curiosity. Now we can stay with our hands on our body or you can release them into your lap, whatever you're most comfortable with. But the second step is to breathe deeply. So when we're stressed, we tend to keep our breath in the upper part of our lungs. And what I'm going to encourage you to do is to try to draw the breath all the way down to the lower part of your lungs. Almost think of drawing the breath into your belly. So again, eyes open or closed. And just imagine the entire torso expanding out to the side and lifting up as you deeply draw the breath as low as you can into your body. And so just in silence for one moment, we're gonna draw a deep breath in as deep as you can into the lower part of your lungs and then release completely, trying to press all the air out of your body. Yeah, gosh, Liz, I noticed as soon as I had my, my hands up here, how much I was breathing in my chest and really taking that deep breath, it makes a huge difference. That's awesome, Emily. That's really great that you were able to just observe that and notice, and that in itself is really helpful to calm your system. Yeah. Now, so for people who might have kind of a hard time sitting still and focusing on some of this stuff, I know I'm I'm relaxed just kind of looking at, at your space here. It looks so soothing, but what tips do you have for, for people kind of creating a nice uh, inviting space in that location where they can come and de-stress? Well, that's a great idea to try to set up a space that is inviting, that is calming. If you can go somewhere and close the door, um, that's always wonderful. This is the ritual rug that my uh, business partner created. It's really special and creates a, an enticing atmosphere for me to come and be quiet, but it's not something that you need. Um, you also can light a candle. I have a cup of tea. Um, people who really like plants might bring those along. It's really anything. You can spritz the air, play some calming music, anything that makes you feel like you want to go there and you want to calm down. I often practice in my living room, so it's not the calmest place in terms of, you know, I've got cats and family that come <laughs> right, in and go. Right. 
but um, whatever works for you. There's really no right and wrong, just whatever feels right. Okay, I like that. A good reminder for everybody to just find that space and breathe today and for many days going forward. Liz, thanks so much. And I love the story behind the ritual rug too. Uh, you can check more out about that and find some meditation inspiration uh, from Ma Wovens on their social media and website. We'll post the link on our page. You can check it out at coin.com. Thanks, Liz.